Hillary Clinton's name has been placed in nomination for the Democratic representative in the campaign for president in the United States. I have some serious issues with this, but first let me start by explaining that I have been a proponent of the idea of an Obama-Clinton ticket, in fact for some time. But Senator Clinton's recent behavior has caused me to, to a degree, regret my support of that idea. First of all, right after her amazing and stirring speech that brought an end to her candidacy, Senator Clinton did appear to embrace the idea of party unity, traveling around the country with Senator Obama. But then an about face occurred. First of all, her husband, the former president Bill Clinton, could not bring himself to openly say that Senator Obama was ready to be president. And Senator Obama is ready to be president. Additionally, Senator Clinton appeared at a fundraiser in California here, basically giving some weight and encouragement to those remaining supporters of hers who wanted to put Senator Clinton's name in nomination. And then there's Howard Wolfson. Howard Wolfson makes a statement that had Senator John Edwards admitted to his affair prior to the Iowa primary, Senator Clinton would have won the primary. Everyone knows that's wrong. It's not just the exit polling data that some pundits refer to. It's the simple fact that after Senator Edwards dropped out of the race, 80% of his delegates went on their own for Senator Obama, including, as examples, delegate allocations in Nevada and in Texas. So now, with all of that, we have Senator Clinton's name placed in nomination. It's as if the Clintons have had to whine to make this happen. And that is what is so bothersome. At some point, you have to say, we did our best, we gave it our best, it's done. They haven't really said that, and not only that, if you say they did say it, my response back is going to be, they haven't backed their words with action. If you're done, quit. Stop. Get out. Support Senator Obama. 100% wholeheartedly. Now, the Obama campaign is supportive of this move of having Senator Clinton's nomination in, so if they're supportive of it, then I will have to go with that. But I feel the Clintons could have conducted themselves much better than they have. And then there are the people within the mainstream media which seem to try to paint anti-Obama Democratic activists as being almost equal in number to Obama supporters. Nothing could be further from the truth. Let's take the organization called Party Unity My Ass, or PUMA. Their leader, a woman by the name of Dara Murphy, actually contributed to the McCain campaign. And you say, well, gee, everyone knows that. No, not everyone does know that. It must be emphasized. When she had money, she had no problem giving it to a Republican candidate. Now, she's given $750 to the Clinton campaign and also claimed that she had financial problems. And I must add, in fairness, did, she says, put out a yard sign for Deval Patrick when he was running for governor. But when she had the money, she didn't give it 100% to a Democratic candidate, and yet she claims to be a Democrat. You can't do that. And then there's Will Brewer. And Will Brewer has a history of aligning himself with questionable people in this campaign. For example, he openly admits to his pride in meeting the racist Harriet Christian. And I'm proud to be an older American woman. Where are you from? New York City. Hillary State. The best nominee that's possible. 
and the Democrats are throwing the election away. For what? An inadequate black male who would not have been running had it not been a white woman that was running for president. And I'm not going to shut my mouth anymore. I can be called white. But you can't be called black. Then, in a more recent August 14th report by blogger Kevin Kay in a website called Rump Roast, Brewer aligns himself with two very questionable people. Andrew Martin and Webster Tarpley. Andrew Martin is the person first responsible for spreading the spears that Obama is Muslim. Webster Tarpley is a Lyndon LaRouche supporter. A LaRouche Brewer has worked to paint him as a Democrat and get him reportedly on CNN as a disgruntled Democrat. My point is that the people who represent Puma and Just Say No Deal, whatever that organization is that Brewer has started, are not authentically Democrats. They are not Hillary Clinton supporters and not large in number. At a recent conference they had in Washington, D.C., they claimed that they drew 250 people, but the reality, the truth, is that they were booted from the hotel that they originally planned to have the conference in because they didn't have 250 people and were moved to the country inn near Dulles Airport where they attracted perhaps 40 people. They are people who may very well be funded by elements within the Republican Party but who are in question of trying to disrupt the Democratic Party. They are not to be listened to or paid attention to. So why does the mainstream media pay attention to them? The simple answer is this, ratings. The mainstream media has a vested interest in making it seem as if we have an even an equal campaign so you will keep watching which then generates ratings, which then causes you to even indirectly pay attention to their advertisers, which causes their advertisers to pay them money to keep them going. That's the system. So I close by saying, don't pay attention to Puma at all. Remember, they represent fringe elements that not really are even in the Democratic Party at all.